Look into the future, what do you see? I really need to know now, is there a place for me? If we're gonna survive, the dream must stay alive. Authorities are appealing for calm throughout the evacuation process. We really better get going. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Crazy. We finally find each other and we separate straight away. We could meet later. Well, I mean, we don't have to. I, I mean... It's okay. We'll see you after the stag night then. How's it going? It's not going to work. I've had a look at the pump and it's hopeless. <laughs> but I think we could pick something up, Dow. I mean, look, we could run the hose down there and try it along there. I mean... We? Okay, you. I'm the ideas man, I guess. You'll still get the fountain effect from it? Yeah, it would be just like the movies. Make her falls. <laughs> What's she doing? We should be at the Fountain of Life, apparently. Probably praying it's gonna work. Oh, yeah. We need some divine way to get through this. Oi, Dal, over here. I need a hand. Uh, I'm busy. It's important. What? The booze. We just stash it. We left. Right, let's go. <coughs> Lex, get out of my sight. What have I done now? It's bad luck for the groom to see the bride the night before the wedding. Remember? Yeah. I'm gonna count to ten, and then I'm opening my eyes, and you'd better be gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, Zandra. I bet you're feeling sorry for yourself. I've got Lex and you haven't. And tomorrow, he'll be mine forever. I wish you both nothing but joy. Yeah, right. You just better not try anything, that's all. I couldn't eat a thing. I got to do some results. Try to force yourself. This stuff's fresh from the farm. I'll have a little. But don't blame me if I throw up. You should relax. It's only stage fright. That's right. It's always worse the night before. Easy for you to say. You're not getting married. Are you okay? I'm fine. Where's Tyson? She's not coming. Why? She did get invited, didn't she? No. No, I'm not having it. It ruined everything. Zandra. It's my hen's night, isn't it? Are you angry at Tyson? Zandra, this wedding is supposed to be bringing us together. All right. Good. Chloe, go and see if Tyson wants to join us. Homemade cider from the farm. Stuff is lethal. It's only cider. Too right. Stuff should come with a health warning on it. <laughs> Excellent. Sure is. Anything so right? It does the job. So, um, where's Bray? Um, in his room reading. Reading? On my stag night? No way! Like, he's not getting off that easy. Stop reading! This is Lex ordering you to come out and play. Well, don't be a total nerd. Come on, man. It's mystag night. Let's bring the hatchet, huh? Whatever, Lex. 
long as it's not in my bag. Tyson. What is it, Chloe? Lift out of the henai. You coming? I can't. I'm fasting. What? I'm not eating for the next 24 hours. Only water until after the wedding. Why? To purify myself. To make my spirit strong. So that my prayers for Lex and Zandra are answered. I don't get it. Know how your body needs exercise to keep healthy? Well, it's the same for your spirit. Holy men have done it for thousands of years. Sitting in a room all alone, not eating, that's exercise? Exactly. Gentlemen, in case I... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to raise your glasses, please. I give you a toast to Lex and Zandra. So Lex, Lex and Zandra. I'd like to propose a toast, just to Zandra. Hang on, I finished mine. Uh, me too. I think you're supposed to sit at Toast Skies. <laughs> Ready? Good luck to Zandra. Married to Lex, she's gonna need it. <laughs> to Zandra. To Zandra. Zandra. I'd like to propose a toast. To Lynx's last night of freedom. That's right, Lex. No more fooling around. I don't care. Of course you don't. If Ebony came and threw herself at you, you'd turn her away, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'm gonna drink to that. To Ebony. To Ebony. You finished? Yeah, do you want it? I've forgotten how good real food tasted. Me too. Get used to it. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Yeah. Roast pig, my wedding banquet. We were you worried we'd forgotten about you? Well, you do seem more interested in the food than my big day. The day I've been dreaming about my whole life. You dreamed about marrying Lex all your life. Since the first time I saw him. I knew he was the one. What was he doing? Fighting. <laughs> He was so tough and so brave. I had to have him. Poor Lex. He didn't stand a chance. I wonder who'll be next. Amber? Maybe. So, does this mean you and Sasha are official? Oh, great. I love Sasha. Yeah, now he'll have to stay. I hope so. Don't worry. You're made for each other. But don't rush into anything. Take your time. Look at me. I could have married Sue or Bray. Thank goodness I didn't. You had a lucky escape. That Bray's a slippery one. You'd never know where you were with him. Isn't that right, Celine? Celine? Sorry, I was miles away. Everyone had enough? Good. I'll clear up then. Don't be long. From Sonata Spades. That one. That one. Brill, can you teach me that? It's only a stupid card trick. No great mystery. You're saying there's no art to it? None. A monkey could do it. You're out of line. The trick is a small part. The real skill is how you deal with the punter. The eye contact, the patter, drawing them in. You know what? I, I bet you can figure this out statistically. All right. I want to play another game. What? Celine, what are you doing? Spying on me again? No, I was... No need. 
I was just coming. I got some homemade stuff from the farm. I like it. It's funny. No, it's not. Every time Lex is on the grog, something awful happens. Something really awful. I'll go and see what they're up to. Come on, have a go. It's easy. Like that. I can't. I'm no good in skateboards. Really? And I thought you were good at everything. No way. I'm not risking my neck the night before the honeymoon. I need all my bits and work in order. Okay, I'm ready. Let's race. Welcome to the Moor Rats Handicap. The drivers are on their grids. Engine's running. Ready? Guys, be careful. Three, down. Two. Casey! Well, that's off to a good lead, but Casey is in a hot pursuit. Scorching pace. That time, and old Casey's going around fast, and they're neck and neck around the corner. Sal's just hanging on to the lead. Casey's making a burst down the corner. Yeah. 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 Probably just a spring. Ryan, can you help him to bed? Sure. Is he all right? Be careful. Zandra, please calm down. Oh, she's right. Be careful. I knew it. I knew it. If anything else goes wrong, I don't know what I'll do. Why don't you go to bed? That's a good idea. I've had enough fun for one night. I'll get him a cold water pack. Keep the swelling down. Thanks, Dale. Be careful. Zandra, bedtime. You've got a big day ahead, and you need all the beauty sleep you can get. Good night. <laughs> you drank too? A bit lightheaded, nothing chronic. What time is it? Late. We should get some shut-eye. Big day ahead. We don't have to. It all seems a bit of a waste, you know? All this chaos going on. In the morning, it'll be no better. We're expected to be in charge. We could wait. You're right. We'll probably be interrupted by an hysterical Zandra. Or a demented Lex. Or Patsy and Chloe looking for advice on wedding decorations. <laughs> There's time. We've all the time in the world. Night. Wake up, Lex. Wake up. What? You're getting married today? Remember? <laughs> I can't. I'll have to do it tomorrow. Quad 
What's your problem? I'm your best man, and my job is to get you to the altar. And I will. Even if I have to drag you there. <laughs> I think you've made your point. Look at who ran into your cage. Anybody would think it was you marrying Zandra. Not me. <laughs> Morning, Sin Beauty. Thanks, oh, Sasha. Sleep well? <laughs> Not really. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't get a wink either. Good. What time is it? Time to get to work. We have a wedding to organize. <laughs> Dow? Dow? Dow, get off me! On my feet! Mm. <laughs> I can't eat this stuff. I'm gonna be sick. You have to try. It'll help. She's right. Give your system time to soak up the alcohol. It's your own stupid fault. I've got some herbal remedies that'll make you feel more human. Don't spoil him. Let him learn his lesson. Aren't you reading either? No, she's fasting. Why? It's an exercise. Exercise? That's right. Purifying my body for the special day. <laughs> well, I guess that's another way of purifying your body. You know the deal. Last time was one off. No more freebies. I've got something for you. Sorry, I can't use this. But they're diamonds. They're fake. Cheap glass. Worthless. But it's all I've got. What happened to the other food I gave you? The rats ate it. That's too bad. Hey, that's great, kids. What beautiful flowers. You can have flowers like this when you get married. Hey, Bray, you're a handyman. Could you spare us your time? I'm busy. Is this going to work or what? Jack seemed pretty confident. Jack's a bit better with theory than practice. He better leave all the practical stuff to me. You can still do it, though? Oh, yeah. It'll be good. A little surprise for Lex and Sandra. <laughs> Are you sure it looks OK? You look great. I feel fat. Don't be absurd. And my bum sticks out. Lex will be knocked out. Truly. You're gorgeous. He's not here. My necklace is gone. Are you sure? I always keep it here. Belongs to my grandmother. She wore it at her wedding. So did my mother. Are you sure you've looked everywhere? It's an omen. A sign. Get married now? Maybe someone stole it. <laughs> Sorry, but it is possible. Yeah, first the food, and now this. Come on. No good standing around moaning. We we'll check every inch of the mall till we find it. It can't have walked off on its own. Del Petty and I'll check the shops upstairs. Hey, here it is. 
is. Yeah, there's gonna be a wedding. Yes. Fantastic. Amber, Sandra, we found it. Let me show Sandra. How'd it wind up there? Maybe Sandra dropped it. Then why'd nobody notice it? Does it matter? At least it wasn't stolen. No thief in his right mind would have left it like that. Is everyone settled? Then let's begin. Does anyone know of any reason why Zandra and Lex shouldn't be married? I can think of plenty. <laughs> Shh. Brian? What? Well, I... I... The ring, Ryan. Ah, oh, yeah. With this here ring, I vow my undying love. Vow it. I do. And I vow the same to you. Finished? Then it's time for the spirit of life to bless this happy couple. The water of life that, like hope, springs eternal. You may kiss the bride. There is nothing for me to fear. 